mountain bike friends, and welcome back to the MTB Heat Check. This week, we are looking back on the Epic Rides Whiskey Off-Road event that took place April 26th to April 28th in Prescott, Arizona. Epic Rides does an amazing job with this event, and it definitely one to put on your to-do list. Even if you're not racing, Prescott, great place to ride, but we're here for racing. We have plenty to get to, starting with Friday night's Fat Tire Crit, performed on not-so-fat tires. We're gonna start with the women's race where hometown favorite Chloe Woodruff made no bones about it. She was in it to win it. A lot of times in crits, especially in the early laps, most racers hang back. They don't wanna show their cars. Chloe Woodruff, on the other hand, she doesn't subscribe to that. She's more like, hey, everybody, here are my cards. Take a good look. Here's some jacks, a 10, maybe some sevens. After grabbing the first lap preem, she eased back into the group, but still was always near the front. Kate Courtney, Aaron Hawk, and the Cliff Pro team trio of Katarina Nash, Catherine Pendrel, and Haley Batten also were all up at the front. Here are some of the technical details for the fat tire crit. You have to race the same bike you will race in the cross country race with the same equipment. No swapping chain rings or anything else. The only change is that you can put skinnier, slicker tires on your bike, as long as they are not skinnier than 38 millimeters. Race duration, 20 minutes plus three laps. And here we are coming to the end of this. It's Haley Batten who's driving the pace, hoping to gap the field, final lap, but it was not to be. As Prescott's own, Chloe Woodruff came around the final turn, took the win, followed by Nash, Sofia Gomez, Visha Fanye, Aaron Huck, and Kate Courtney are the rest of your top five on that wide angle podium. This race means a lot. So I I race as hard as I can out here every year and um, know the fact that so many people come out and um, cheer everyone on. It, it just is a great atmosphere and um, this is a great course for me. So I love it. One other key point here is that everyone who wanted to be competitive in Sunday's backcountry race had to at least start the fat tire crit. You didn't have to finish, but if you didn't start, you'd be assessed a five minute penalty in Sunday's race. So we had full attendance at the start. And let's move on to the men's race. It was all hands on deck with a full field of 80 plus riders. Unlike the women's race, the men's field stayed together for a few laps and then Keegan Swenson from the stance pivot presented by Max's team put in a huge move. Cliff Pro Team's Russell Finsterwald was able to cover the move and go with Swenson, but it wasn't without a huge effort, which you can see here from his on-screen power data. Payson McElveen was also able to bridge the gap and join the leading duo. The three riders all worked together for the entire race, trading pools and keeping the chase at bay. I was kind of a gamble um, on lap, I think it was lap two or lap three. I just pretty much went all in. I was like, I hope someone will go with me. Hopefully the two guys will go with me. And uh, Russell went with me initially, and I looked back and Payson had bridged up. Um, so it was a group of three, and I was like, all right, let's try and you know keep this rolling. It's always nice if you can get that gap off the front and just keep a steady pace, as opposed to uh, in the group, it's kind of like on, off, on, off. I mean, we uh, told, told each other, we'll just split all the preems and just keep it smooth and you know don't fight each other and just try and stay away. And it, it was pretty smooth all until the last lap, then, uh, then it was all bets were off. Back on board with Finsty, and we get a close-up look at the huge effort. Swenson put in on the not so small climb that started the final lap. This was a message and it delivered loudly and it may resound all the way to Sunday's backcountry race. Swenson takes the win with McElveen in second and Finsterwald in third. Stefan DeVos took the group sprint for fourth with Joshua Berry in the fifth spot. Moving on to Sunday's backcountry race, and this one is a killer. 48 miles of tough climbs and smooth single track made for a fast race that allowed no respite. This was full gas for close to four hours. We're gonna start with the men and catch the field at the start. The women's field left 10 minutes after, so we missed their start, but we'll catch up with their action in a bit. The race starts with a neutral rollout on paved roads. After the neutral portion ended, Prescott native Travis McCabe decided to take a little flyer. As we look at the course map, I can tell you McCabe's freedom was short-lived as it was all back together as the group entered the first stretch of single track. And as we see the group, it's Keegan Swenson 
still at the front, still carrying that momentum from Friday night and leading the group. He's got Howard Gratz and Finsterwald right behind him. By the time the group got to the feared Skull Valley, it was a bit of deja vu as Swenson and Finsterwald once again left the pack and were on a solo journey. Dwarves, Perez, Roman, and Fernando Riveros were chasing in the third and fourth spots. Before they reached aid station two, Swenson had started to pull away from Finsterwald. The chase group also now included Graz and Kohei Yomamato. The only change to the chase back was a late charge by Cliff Pro Team's Ben Sontag, who started picking up spaces on the run back into town. And at the finish, it's Keegan Swenson. The guy just can't lose. Completes the weekend sweep and takes home the biggest of the big checks. Vince Wall ended up in second, with Roman in third, Sontag moving all the way up to fourth place, and Riveros in fifth. After we look at the top 11 for the men, we're gonna pick up the women's action at the first stretch of single track where Kate Courtney leads the way with Woodruff, Huck, Catherine Pendrel, Visha Fanye, and Alexis Scarda in tow. Nash and Batten are not far behind for the Cliff Pro team. In Skull Valley, the lead group was down to three with Courtney pushing the pace with Huck and Woodruff right on her wheel. The Cliff Pro tag team duo of Pendrel and Batten were not far behind. At eight station two, Woodruff had fallen off the pace, leaving Courtney and Huck at the front. The CPT tag team was a bit farther down the road with Pendrel leading Batten. Woodruff, on the other hand, looked to be struggling a bit and had fallen all the way back to fifth place. It's what happens away from the cameras that much of the time is the most intriguing. Between aid station two and the finish, we had two major reversals of fortune. Huck, who looked to be on a good day from the outside, was struggling. She started to fade and drop from second to fifth. In the complete opposite, Woodruff had a resurgence and used her local knowledge to rail the trails in the last third of the race to move all the way from fifth up to second place. The cross country world champ, meanwhile, kept building her lead and took the race handily. Woodruff finished second with Pendrel in third and Batten in fourth. Huck managed on a day she said was the worst she felt on a bike in a long time, managed to hang on for fifth place. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I think, you know, we had a really fast group of women and we worked together really well. So uh, it was a little tactical from the beginning, but we started opening it up on the Skull Valley and worked together to push the pace um, and kind of whittled it down. And I was able to get away at the top end of the single track. And then it became a long day of staying focused and uh, trying not to, you know, screw up my lines on the single track and, and staying on it on those steep climbs towards the finish. So, yeah. And that's it from Prescott. Make sure to tune in next week for the updated MTB Heat Check Power Rankings, which we will have ready for your viewing pleasure following the Soldier Hollow Stage Race. If you want to join the conversation, use the hashtag MTB Heat Check. And if you're digging the content, subscribe to the channel and share with your mountain bike friends. Until next time, I'm Bill Scheichen for CX Hairs, the Wide Angle Podium Network, and MTB Heat Check.